Well, last year, the best advice for a safe Thanksgiving was to just stay home. But this year, Thanksgiving is back. Adults and children over the age of five are all eligible for vaccines. And a recent study found the majority of Americans surveyed plan to celebrate like they did before the pandemic. So can we celebrate safely? Dr. Dave Toxie, the commissioner of the New York City Department of Health and Mental Hygiene, is here with us with his advice for the holidays. Doctor, good to see you here this morning. Thanks, Chris, for having me. You have the latest numbers, um, and if you can relay those to me, and is there a cause for concern in the numbers that you see right now before we get into how we can safely celebrate the holiday? Certainly. Um, we are seeing an increase in cases in recent days. Our seven-day average is at over 1,250 cases per day. That is an increase compared to prior weeks, um, but hospitalizations remain relatively low. Um, and we have far more tools in our arsenal than we did at the same point last year. So uh, we have to take that all into context. And, and I guess to just kind of dumb this down, we've been trying to say, okay, we're out of the woods. Um, and it seems like we've been saying that for about 18 months now. Do you safely feel that it is safe to say that we are kind of out of the woods, so to speak, with this pandemic as we now head into this first big holiday where things are going back to normal, quote unquote? No, we're not out of the woods quite yet. Um, you know, I, along with everyone else, uh, I long for that day, and I do think that it will come, uh, but we're not quite there. Um, and we do have to continue to be vigilant over the coming weeks, including through the holidays. But look, one thing I want to be very clear about is that thanks to vaccination, this year will be safer uh, compared to the holidays last year. Um, and it's the single most important thing that uh, all of us can do because vaccination makes every activity safer. And, and I guess that would be the big takeaway here is that you feel that families can have a safe celebration with a number of people in closed confines if everyone's vaccinated. That's right. It's the most important thing, you know, to get everyone fully vaccinated. Uh, and also for people uh, who are eligible for a booster, I strongly encourage that as well. Uh, particularly um, people who are more vulnerable. Um, one very practical tip that I have for holiday gatherings is plan it around your most vulnerable family member. You know, if you have someone who is older or is immunocompromised because of a medical condition, take that into account in terms of how you arrange the festivities. Try to have some of it outdoors if you can or otherwise well ventilated. Um, make sure that people get tested before and after the gathering. Uh, and, uh, you know, in some cases, um, masking and, and distancing uh, may still be useful. So let me ask you this guidelines for a celebration where you've got kind of a mixed vaccination status. What would you say best to still adhere to the mask policy? Maybe no hugs, things of that nature, uh, because I guess the one thing we can say, even if you are fully vaccinated, it doesn't mean you are you're immune to possibly getting COVID-19 still. That's right. When you're fully vaccinated, you are well protected, particularly against severe disease. Um, and what I'm most worried about is people who are unvaccinated. If you're unvaccinated, you need to take all of the same precautions that we've been counseling over uh, the last 20 months. You do need to wear your mask. You should social distance from other people. Um, and of course, you know, uh, get tested as well. Um, if you are fully vaccinated, it gives you that uh, that additional layer of protection. You can get a booster dose to get um, still further protection. Uh, and if you're in one of those mixed gatherings, I do recommend more precautions than if it's only fully vaccinated people who are gathering together. And you know, you've touched on the booster shot here a few times for those who have not had the opportunity to get the booster shot. And let's say they're at that, you know, that six, seven month period where they did get their full vaccinated, their first two doses uh, a while ago. Should there be concern for those people if they haven't had a chance to get that booster just yet? Generally, you remain very well protected if you're fully vaccinated. Um, so, uh, you know, I wouldn't um, worry unduly. Uh, with that said, I do strongly encourage when it's your turn, you know, when your time uh, is here uh, for people to go ahead and get that booster shot. As you mentioned, that's six months after your second dose of Moderna or Pfizer or two months uh, after you got your J&J &J dose that does give you an important additional layer of protection. And, and I guess the big concern, especially now that we're bringing all of these families back together, the kids. Now I know obviously the five-year-olds to, to 11 can now start to get vaccinated uh, as of a few weeks ago, but 
we know that there hasn't been massive numbers on that front. So if you've got celebrations, you've got kids there, how do we best protect them if they haven't been vaxxed yet? Yeah, this is an important question, uh, and, and I'm thinking about it as a father myself. Um, first, it's been so wonderful to see uh, our 5 to 11-year-olds get vaccinated, and that's the most important thing. I do encourage parents, if you haven't gotten your child vaccinated yet, there's still time you know, before Thanksgiving. Go ahead and get that done because it does help to gradually you know, start to build up protection. Um, if you have uh, children who remain unvaccinated or partially vaccinated, I do recommend taking a little bit more precaution there. You know, again, moving things outdoors uh, or at least keeping, um, you know, your most vulnerable family members uh, a bit further apart, um, you know, from children. That's the most important thing. Uh, children themselves are at, at relatively um, lower risk, uh, but not zero risk. So. Uh, so these are all things that you can do to reduce the risk further. Doc, I think you'll probably agree with me when I say it's wonderful that due to vaccinations, we are at a period a year later where we can celebrate a traditional Thanksgiving and a traditional holiday with our family members. But when you see pictures this morning, let's say from the airports, which are packed, and we know that people um, want to get together with people that they haven't seen in a while and have this big indoor Thanksgiving celebration. Is there a concern on your behalf in the days after the holiday of where we may be from a case number standpoint? Yes, I am concerned and I'm following this closely. Um, but what I'll say is that we have so many tools at our disposal to reduce risk now. So let's take a couple of the things that you mentioned around travel, you know, wearing your face covering, uh, getting tested, uh, you know, before and after um, any gathering. Those are important things that can help you to further reduce the risk, along with, of course, the most important one, vaccination. I do encourage, you know, if you are having an indoor gathering, keep it small. Uh, try to keep it well ventilated, even opening, you know, a window or a door if the weather permits. Um, these things, uh, they seem small, but they can make a big difference. And I do not advise, you know, very large indoor gatherings because um, those can be the source of significant spread. Well, doctor, if we before we leave you, if there was one bit of advice, a big takeaway that you would like to impart on the audience before they do head off to whatever destination they're going to or if they're about to host a number of people at their homes, what would it be? What would be the big takeaway where we stand right now as a country in light of where we have been? The big takeaway is that um, there's so much to be thankful for, particularly this holiday. Let's um, let's uh, express that gratitude. Uh, but also use everything that we have at our disposal. Um, the common sense precautions that we have seen have worked over the last several months. So now isn't the time to throw caution to the wind. Uh, let's keep it up um, you know, for a few weeks, a few months more, and we can finally turn the corner on this pandemic and have even more to be grateful for. Dr. David Chakti, thank you very much. We're grateful for you and your advice. And again, great to talk with you, and thank you for the information. Thank you so much.